Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at Ubuntu 23.10 versus Fedora 39. And I'm just going to get the installers kicked off. Ubuntu does have an update to its installer, so we'll go ahead and do that. You do notice there's differences in the installer. This is kind of a bird's eye view. You get your keyboard, your date and your time, and then where you want it installed on your hard drive. To where on the Ubuntu side, it's more of the standard installation. We'll just go default. And I'll speed this portion of the video up. All right, both of these installs completed. I'm going to shut them down and I'll see everybody at the first login screen. All right, I'm just gonna log into Ubuntu here. On the Fedora side, it looks like there is more setup. So we'll go ahead and start the setup. Turn off location, turn off automatic reporting. We'll enable third-party repositories. Skip the online accounts. And we'll set up our user. Start using Fedora. All right, and right off the bat, you can see that there is a bit of a difference in the GNOME experience. I'd say Fedora gives you more of a vanilla experience to where Ubuntu has their own customized version of GNOME. Um, take the tour, sure. We'll do this for demonstration purposes. Start the tour. Get an overview, press the super key. Super key is gonna get your dock at the bottom and then your application grid that you can click on, it shows you all the apps. Next, just type to search. So we'll do text. There's our text editor, yeah, that works. Keep on top of workspaces. All right, so I, I do know you can click on the uh, workspaces uh, icon here and you can use your mouse wheel to switch between workspaces that's pretty cool and if you're on a laptop you can use your fingers scroll up and down left and right between the workspaces so it's on a laptop is essentially the same thing you could use your touchpad and that's it have a nice day Cool. And on the Ubuntu side, we'll just skip the online accounts. We don't want telemetry. 
All right, and then this gives us a preview of their app center. But we want to check for updates. So to do that, we'll go with software updater on the Ubuntu side. And then on the Fedora side, where is my software? Oh, it's down here. Pull these to the center and we'll zoom into these. We'll let the, the catalog finish caching. Okay, so we have 65 updates over here. 57 updates on Ubuntu, so we'll go ahead and do that now. And I'll speed this portion of the video up. And we're just going to do a shutdown command on each. Shutdown slash R 824. It's 823. So as soon as 824 rolls around, they'll both restart. They both have all the updates completed, so nothing's pending. So it is a fair test. Okay, Ubuntu was much quicker. And as far as a driver manager for the NVIDIA GPUs out there, on the Ubuntu side, you would just go to your show apps, additional drivers. And if you had an NVIDIA card, it'll show up under, under this software and updates, additional drivers piece. To where over on the Fedora side, to software, and then to the hamburger menu, software repositories, and we scroll down and we enable RPM Fusion non-free for the NVIDIA driver. Once we've got that enabled, then we can run the following command in the terminal for the NVIDIA driver, the CUDA driver, and then reboot. So just a different way of doing it. I'd say it's easier on the Ubuntu side. All right, and if we look at the system monitor, the CPU between one Two, three percent. There are some spikes in here, but for the majority, one, two, three percent. Memory is 1.1 gigs. And on the Fedora side, the CPU. CPU is about one, two, three, four percent. I'm seeing. Alright, and the memory is at 1.5 gigs. Alright, we'll do H top. On the Ubuntu side, the CPU is between, let's say one, two, three percent. Memory is 883 megabytes. On the Fedora side, CPU again, one, two, three percent. Memory is at 1.46 gigabytes. All right, let's take a look at the file managers. On the Ubuntu side, we've got files, 45.rc on the Fedora side we've got files 45.2.1 all right we'll go into system settings and they both use GNOME so their system settings look identical what we'll do is we'll go into system details and see the fine details here 
Okay, so on the Ubuntu side, it's using GNOME version 45.1. On the Fedora side, it's using GNOME version 45.2. Both are using Wayland by default. Ubuntu's kernel is 6.5. Fedora's kernel is 6.6.8. We'll look at the Firefox versions that are installed. We've got 121, and that's the Snap version specific for Ubuntu. And on the Fedora side, we've got 121, and that is specific to Fedora. It's an RPM package that's pre-installed. All right, and if we look to see how to install applications on the Ubuntu side, they've got App Center. On the Fedora side, we've got the GNOME software store. So if we search for like Inkscape, Okay, the difference here is going to be on the Fedora side, these are going to be either a Fedora RPM package or a Flathub Flatpak package to where on the Ubuntu side it's got the Snap package. And I don't see where you could select anything other than Snap. But they both have the version, the download size, um, a gallery, and a description. All right, and for the system tray on the Fedora side, they've got the power, the lock, settings, screenshot, volume, connection, power mode, night light, and dark style. Ubuntu is gonna be nearly identical. Uh, it's just a different color scheme. Power lock, settings, screenshot, volume, network connection, power mode, night light, and dark style. So basically identical and you can switch your workspaces on both. All right, we'll do a NeoFetch on each. On the Ubuntu side, the kernel is 6.5, packages 15.10, um, Debian packages, and then 11 snap packages. And the bash is 5.2.15. GNOME 45.1, and we're using 945 megabytes, just sitting here idle. On the Fedora side, the kernel is 6.6.8. Packages are 1960, and those are RPM packages. The bash is 5.2.21. The desktop environment is GNOME 45.2, and we are using 1.3 gigs of memory sitting idle. All right, and on the release cycle, Ubuntu releases an LTS every two years in April. And in between those LTS releases, every six months, they release an interim release. On the Fedora side, they release a new version of Fedora every six months. And they continue to update packages for 13 months. And that allows users to skip a release if they choose. All right, we'll take a look at wallpapers. Just right click, change background. And you can pause the video and take a look at all the different wallpapers. On the Ubuntu side, I've gone with this purple one. The default was black. And on the Fedora side, we can go with this one. Just to change it up. And that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you found the video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.